Hello, Phoenix Kingdom. It's your king speaking. And welcome back to another video. No, I don't want to. Okay, so I already did uh, empty it. Anyways, so I was going to do another one of um, Pirates 101, but I went onto the site of the King's Isle site. Um, and I found out my membership isn't good. I mean, it was on a lot a previous credit card, so I kind of understand. So, working on a little bit of that. And also, I decided just to do Wizards 101, because, well, you should see the intro of this so I'd make it a little bit even. It is halfway through, or halfway in between 5 and 6 a.m., so it took me a couple, over a couple hours to try and, um, to try and get my membership up, but apparently my account was flagged for some fraudulent behavior, which doesn't make any sense, because nothing bad can happen on that site. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, let's get into uh -huh. creating a new one. The spell is working. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh. A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Why is his name Gamma? Is he made of gamma radiation or something? Where? Okay, I'm pretty sure this owl is blind. Even with glasses on. Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. Okay. Never mind, I can understand if only he can see it through another realm. That actually kind of makes sense. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Bring on the questions. We should consult the Book of Secrets. Yeah. Go ahead, bring on the questions. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Powerful one. <laughs> mm, Alright. What is more important to you? Show off my skills or be part of a winning team? Uh, hmm. Show off my skills could be like, um... Arrogant. Could be... Selfless. Or selfish. No, selfish, I think. Selfish, yeah, I think so. Be part of a winning team. Hmm. That one's more on teamwork, though. Yeah, that's your this one. Which of these is the most powerful? Hurricane, sandstorm, blizzard, tornado, plague, volcano, or earthquake? Well, plague is pretty powerful. But that's just disease. The rest are actually a type of natural disaster. Tornadoes are a natural disaster. Blizzards are a natural disaster. Sandstorms, hurricanes, volcanoes, earthquakes, each of those are a natural disaster. I like volcanoes. I'm gonna choose volcano. My favorite class in school is health, reading and writing, science or math. I like all of my classes, sports. Well, I do like math. Math is my favorite subject.
What's your favorite season? Summer. What is more important to you? Competing against others or cooperating with others? What is your favorite animal? Well, they don't have phoenix on here. And they don't have dinosaurs either. Closest thing is dragon. What's your favorite gemstone? Ruby. That's my birthstone. You have chosen the school of fire. Yeah, I did choose a lot with red in it. Lava. For volcano. Um. Ruby. Summer. With the sun. One more I'm forgetting. Okay. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? I need to go to the shop. Well, just... hello. If it isn't our newest student, my name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you, but first things first. To move around, use the arrow key. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to Gamma and... Hello! My name is Gamma the Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. Mm -hmm. Long young wizard, let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. You'd best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower! Who's there? 
Melister. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchmen will seek to your little friend. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly, you must choose... attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Your mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh, my. Oh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Where were we, then? Oh, right. Attack. trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will... to weaken the young wizard's spells. Here, young wizard, take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Spell reduce the power of your own spell. At last, you fools are in your keep. Now, finish the child. Cast this balance blade spell on yourself, it will increase your next spell's power. Center. Cool.
That damn bit. This one learns fast, Maristair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the bits to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meat. Sure, finished. Great. Didn't know we finished. Oh, Ooh, Minotaur. Minotaur. They have a lot of mythical creatures in here. Then again, it's magic. So. Ninja pigs. That's not mythical, that's just real. Excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone. And none too soon. What sinister goal? brought him here. Oh my, you look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Defeating Malastair's henchmen has earned you some experience. This experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now, do you have any questions, young wizard? I stand. You don't know how to speak. Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Click on it to say something. You have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their parents' permission. You'll also need a spellbook and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There is little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? We'll see you soon.
That's an interesting unicorn. It's like made of diamonds. Okay. Something changed about this. You say the headmaster sent you to help us. Well, then, you're just the person. Actually, they did upgrade this a little bit since I played last. There didn't used to be this barriers here. skills thank you when I heard there was trouble on unicorn way I rushed right over but then I saw what's out there skeletal pirates you're afraid of skeleton pirates 
skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? <laughs> Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie jeebies! Oh, he's afraid of pirates. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Yeah, no problem. Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck! You're welcome. Ooh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. She should talk to her first. This thing tells me otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, they definitely didn't have any of these things. Any of those signs before. That hut beat one is new, I've never seen that one before. And sometimes your spells can fail like that. I hate when they fail. and pirates on one though. So that's not really something new. Sometimes they go first, sometimes you go first. Fire cat versus fire cat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's the opposite this time. Didn't sound very warned about a rattle in the darkness? Yeah, how'd you know? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. I'm not frustrated. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. Mm -hmm. You done here? There is a powerful no, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark yeah, forces we're facing. You're just taking the wise seraph Lady Ori. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's 
also the warden of the ferries, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. Does this guy know how to be quiet? I don't think he does. these flags in there as well. And all these barriers. I know how to get to the shopping district. I don't know where the mirrors are in there because I never had to change my pants before. There was an option. And I think this is the only one in option. Dang it, it's closed. Sucks. Forces me to do this first. That's stupid. Once again, I was unable to sleep, stayed up all night, and now I'm starting to get tired again. Like it seems to happen every single night. Well, every other night about actually. Hello, Spyro. I know there's dragons and you can choose the color. There's, this game has a lot of pets that can follow you around and help you in battle and whatnot. Pirates 101 doesn't really have pets, but it does have rideable creatures just like this game does. Which I'm not able to do anything with due to the fact that... The... King's Isle people uh, preventing me from buying anything right now because they're being stupid. It irritates me. <sighs> well, talking to her is something. What purpose? Brings you Never into mind. our hedge maze. I was gonna stop right there, but no. Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Okay. Now I will call this video good here. We will talk to her in the next episode of this playthrough. And Phoenix Punch that subscribe button if you haven't already to join my Phoenix Kingdom. And well, um, click or uh, tap that like button if you did like this video I mean it was only like 32 minutes long probably over 33 by the time I'm done talking it will be most likely anyways um and click or tap on that notification bell so it'll be notified of my future upload that person is not even moving why is it going on there
Did that bear just heal me? I have no clue. Looks like it did actually. Cause I didn't you didn't get anything new to my mana. Well that's cool. Well, see you all in the next video. Goodbye.